Okay, so firstly, to start off, the cask glute bridge is actually set up the same as a hip thrust, okay? So use a bench or a step. I'm using a step here just because the benches in my gym are a little bit too high. So you're gonna set up for a hip thrust. So do make sure that the bottom of your rib cage is on the step and that's where you're gonna hinge and pivot from, sorry, and that your knees and your ankles are in line. So we don't want the knees moving backwards here and we want to keep those shins vertical. The cask glute bridge is a very slow controlled movement with a small range of movement. So we are only actually moving our hips a very small amount to feel a slight stretch in the glutes and then squeezing the glutes together hard to come back up. It's very controlled and I don't want to see any jerking or throwing the barbell up with your hips. This is all about pure glute control and really squeezing hard with those glutes. I'm going to continue to talk now just to carry on with some extra technique uh, tips that I, um, I want to give you. So when you're doing this exercise, I did mention it a little bit before, but when you're doing a hip thrust or, or a glute bridge, I want you to focus on keeping your shins very vertical. As soon as we start to bend the knees more, you're um, gonna be using more quads. So when we bend the knees, the barbell comes lower, and you, as you come up, you will feel your quads more. So this exercise kind of removes the quad element out of, um, out of the movement. Um, remember, when you're doing hip hinges, we keep the knees soft, we don't actually bend them. So if you look at it from that perspective as well, you might understand that. Um, it's a really great exercise for beginners, but also for advanced. Um, you can really load this exercise up quite heavy if you've been hip thrusting and glute bridging for a long time and you will really feel a strong glute pump. However, if you are new to exercise and new to hip thrusts and glute bridges, again, this is an excellent exercise for you to kind of really figure out how your glutes switch on and feel your glutes really working hard because sometimes it's actually quite hard to switch them on. Anyway... Enjoy this exercise, it's a really great one, and enjoy the glute burn from it.